What's going on, guys? It's True Nation with the Midwest Takeoff, and I'm with Noir Wellness Aesthetics, and I'm here with two heavy hitters. Y'all seen these faces. Y'all know these faces in the city of Cleveland. Sharita and Brandon, Power Brand, and the Pull Up Experience. For one, I want, I, I want y'all to share. For, I would no. I want y'all to share y'all light, you know, with the people right now. We here at Davies Listening Party, and so we gonna start with you, and we are gonna go down. So, how did you get started with the Power Expo? So, Power Brand honestly started as a mistake. We really, it was a conversation. I was having a roundtable discussion, literally, kind of like this with my friends, and I said. Man, I want to do a dope conference where I really highlight what branding is supposed to look like, you know, and my friends was just like, well, just do it. And I'm like, I'm scared because it ain't never been done the way I feel like it should be done. And it was like, just do it. And that was five years ago uh, in the city of Cleveland. And we just kept going and kept going. And I think the last power brand that we just had was the true manifestation of what my vision was and the feedback that we got from power brand listen i talked to watts today uh because watts is gonna be yes watts and this amazing you know what i'm saying award-winning podcaster next to me um it's gonna be at futureland and we were literally just talking about power brand and he said i've never been at a networking event where I felt like I really wanted to talk to almost everybody in the room. And not only that, that everybody in the room was a peer, meaning that he wasn't the highest cat in the room. Everybody was the highest cat in the room. You know what I'm saying? It was a vibe. And I said, that is what Power Brand is about. And if I can continue like that, I can I can honestly go to heaven happy, right? Come on, now. because I feel like I'm feeling fulfilling my purpose. We don't want you to go to. Just we, yet. We're, we're not just yet. We good. We good. We good. We good. Not now. Well, not now. But I'm just saying. I just feel like you know that people say when you do what you love, you never have to work a day in your life. And I, when I did that. When I did this year's power brand, it just felt like a not work at all. And I, I felt like I was just really having a dope, really dope experience with my best friend. So shout out to y'all for real. Okay. Come on now. Brandon, tell us about the pull up experience. Well, I got a little podcast, a little bit. A little Big bit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> listen, uh, our podcast, I feel like we still, we were telling amazing stories. Yeah. Um, when we first started, it was, it, I don't know any other podcast that was in the city. Right. And we said, we need a platform to be able to hear a great story like Street is, hear a great story like yours, because normal platforms weren't, weren't taking the time out to talk to the entrepreneur. You had to have so many followers, some, we don't care about any of that. We want to hear great stories. And not only is this a great story, but stories are going to encourage, empower, educate someone that might look like you or might not like you. And uh, man, God is God to say that. And uh, we have been blessed to do 200, we're up to 264 right now. 260. 264. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 264 and, episodes. And listen, yeah. and we ain't doing nothing special. I'll tell anybody in Harvey, we are just consistent. And I'll tell anybody in the Harvey, uh, I, I'm a podcast, I'm an interview kind of store. And I remember Cody Bryant was talking about, everyone talk about all the shots he, he made, they don't talk about the shots he didn't make. And uh, I'll tell anybody, you, the person watching this, that I want to encourage you to start whatever God's called you to do, do it now. Do it broke, do it uh, without the equipment, do it without the support, do it now. And get it and get everything you're looking for, you'll get along the way. So I'm a fan of both of y'all. Y'all my friend, but I'm also a fan of both of you. Yes, I, 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 I will admit that. You can be your friend's fan as well. You know what I'm saying? I support these people right here because they have a vision for the city of Cleveland, which I am from, and uh, they're, they're taking off with with their ideas, with their brands. And so uh, right now, I'm going I'm to uh, give it to you real quick, Sh- uh, Sharita, with the Power Brand Expo, all right? What what do you feel like your your niche is or your value to the city of Cleveland from your brand? When I tell you I am with the best podcasters in the entire universe, because who asks that question? 
So my vision for the city of Cleveland is that in the entertainment industry where I've primarily been for the last 25 years is that they feel that Cleveland doesn't have anything to offer, specifically in the entertainment field. And uh, a lot of people who have never been to our city feels like that they can have that conversation. And so my I, I pull people on the carpet and say, if you have never gone to Cleveland or never been to Cleveland or you have never experienced in Cleveland in a way that allows you to understand a very balanced view of it, you have no bone in this conversation wow. at all, period. And so what my team is really concentrating on is having curated experiences. That's why Power Brand specifically brings celebrities, brings people who have never experienced Cleveland in a curated, correct way, that we bring them to the city of Cleveland and we curate that experience so they understand and know that once you experience Cleveland the right way, right way. the right yeah. way, you will not only mark Cleveland on your calendar as a, a destination, but you are going to want to come here over and over and over again. And that's what we're getting ready to do in April. We're literally bringing 50 to 75 celebrities in the city of Cleveland, curated experience for them so that they can make a balanced decision about what our city has to offer. Okay. Same question. Come on. Mr. Put Up Experience, come on. Well, for me, uh, I can say our mission is more to put a spotlight on the city and to be disruptors in the, in the narrative that Cleveland not collateral a place. Uh, for so long, the notion for Cleveland was that uh, it was crabs in a barrel here right. when it's not. We're sitting here, the three of us or whatnot. Truth does podcast. I love his podcast. When it none, we're trying to disrupt that whole notion of, of competition here in the city, and I feel like we're 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 part of that revolution or that, that renaissance to be able to do that. So, nice. and, yeah, exactly, bro, yeah. exactly. And uh, we'll fight a dog over each other. Like, facts, here. facts, and uh, and once again, we're trying to just change that narrative because, like, for the long people say in Cleveland, ain't nothing in Cleveland. And then Cleveland, we bring David Shans for the podcast summit. And I remember David Shans said out of his own mouth, this is phenomenal right here. Yes. And he's seeing the power of what Cleveland can do. He's going to be back, by the way. He's coming back, by the way, y'all. But I just want to say that because we're disrupting that right now. The three of us right here. And there's so many other great entrepreneurs in the city. And everybody like, 264, y'all y'all done yet? We ain't even close to done yet. Period. So many more stories, so many great people. And like tonight, I done met like 18 people back here or whatnot. And like, uh, for me, y'all don't know, I got real bad social anxiety, right? Like being in these places, true bar, no, I was out, we somewhere yesterday, I'm like, try I go. <laughs> but I love being in the room with amazing people doing amazing things because it keeps me encouraged. Yes. So yeah. I feel like with the Midwest takeoff, what we bring to the table and to the city of Cleveland, we shed light to the newcomers. We shed light to the new, who wants to be in the industry? You know what I'm saying? Who wants to work hard and see their their passion be shown to the world? Everybody deserves their flowers. I, right now, I want to give you guys your flowers for being entrepreneurs, for being the people that set the tone for the city. You know what I'm saying? These are people that uh, you can look up to. You can be inspired by. These people set a message to the city, and I'm inspired by them. I created a podcast off of, honestly, AJ and Free. Wow. You know? They, they, they inspired me. Yeah. I got to meet AJ uh, at the all-star weekend and he said some powerful words to me and he said keep going keep doing your thing yeah. you know and when when i did that i'm like what could i do that's my gift yeah. and it, it's to highlight other people i love highlighting other people yeah. because it brings joy y'all been smiling y'all been sharing y'all story and it's because i can i can help you with that you right. know and with the midwest takeoff i, I genuinely want to see you take off into the stardom everybody has a star quality and these are stars sitting next to me and so uh before we check out and everything like that i always like to ask people you know what is a gym that you could give to your younger self or the future kids that want to be in your position? I would say every single person who has ever told you no, that you're not worth it, that you can't do it, literally find a way to block that out of your mind because they are only they are only reflecting the insecurities that they have in themselves. It is not a direct reflection on who you are and who you can be as a person. So if th that would be the absolute thing I would tell my younger self. That's so 
I'm about to say, I wish I had my buzzer, y'all. Uh, get sweet out there dropping them gems. Uh, Chris Paul did an interview, and he said something that I ain't got no tattoos, but I promise I probably had to have tattooed on me. Reps removed out. Keep going. Uh, people, they they get they focus on all our numbers, our accolades, all that good stuff. I tell them, I remember when day one we had nobody. We had we could, I remember we had to reach out to people. No, I got DMs that people who have come on like I didn't see you reach out to me in twenty twenty something or whatnot. <laughs> not every time, no, yeah, yeah, but I did. But not reaching out to us or whatnot. And I ain't saying that to be full of myself. I'm saying that keep working because eventually those people who you who you look up to or people that you want to have around you, they'll they'll reach out to you. Just speak be consistent. And like I said, rest removed out. You know what I'm saying? Keep working. Keep working to you the best of what you do and remove all that doubt that you have in whatever you're trying to do. I'm here with the superstars. Man. I'm, I'm going to keep saying I'm here with the superstars. It's True Nation. I'm with the power brand. I'm with the pull-up experience. We're the Midwest Takeoff. And let's launch. Let's take off. Let's go.